Hi guys, how are you? So today I am going to be doing another breakfast journal video. So exciting! Yay! I feel like I haven't posted one of these for a while, even though these are my most posted videos, but yay! But before I show you the pages that I have done since my last video, you may have noticed I have a new banner on my YouTube channel. My lovely sister Andrea made it for me, and it has my name on it, and a drawing she made of me dragging a reckless journal behind me, and it's just amazing. And if you want to see how she made that, she has a video on her channel, so I will go ahead and link that down below. And if you like art videos, or you like my sister, Go ahead and subscribe while you're watching the video. Anyway, that video will be, you know, down there. Along with my P.O. Box, and my Instagrams, and my Twitter. All that fun stuff will be found in the description box. Now let's get into the video, shall we? Yes. So this page said to leave it blank on purpose, and... No, I am not gonna leave it blank. I don't like blank pages, so... No, it's not happening, but um, I put a funny picture on it. I like One Direction, and Louis just always looks really sassy, so I found a sassy Louis picture to put on it. Trying to see if I care. Nope. Sorry. Next, we have the glue, staple, or tape these pages together, which I obviously have not done that part yet, but that was because I wanted to show you that I used watercolor and and turned it into a flower. So now we're gonna staple it because in my last Reckless Journal I glued it. So we're going with staple. And then if I get another Reckless Journal, then I'll tape it. Yeah. Um, but I have a little mini stapler. And actually, right now, which is really snazzy, it fell out. I was gonna show you something snazzy. I have green staples. Can you tell that they are green? Yeah. Do you want to know a little story about my childhood? One time I was making paper flowers out of tissue paper. Like you folded it a certain way and then you stapled the bottom of it and it looked like a flower. I stapled it to my thumb before. Very painful. That's why I kind of make this face every time I staple. Because I remember the pain. So this one said to fill this page with circles. So I wanted to actually like draw a picture out of circles. So if you look closely, the whole picture is made out of circles. It took a long time, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I had to show my love for Disney and Little Mermaid because life is the bubbles under the sea. So bubbles are circles. So I drew her out of circles. <sighs> The next page said, chew on this, warning, do not swallow. So I wanted to do something Disney themed, so the first thing that popped to my head was the poison apple, because you don't want to swallow the poison apple, and somebody just messaged me. Um, but first I drew the apple with colored pencils, and then I did chew on the page. Can you tell right there? Those are my teeth marks. Um, then I took watercolors and I painted the background because it was just too plain, so it needed some more color. But there we go, poison apple. Next is the write one word over and over, which I have actually shown this in a previous video because at first I just had the blue okays in the background and the black okays in this cloud, but this past week, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more color, so I went ahead and took my watercolors and painted the background blue and then painted in the black slash gray cloud. The next page said to cover this page with white things, and I wanted to keep a Disney theme on this page. Almost every page in here has a Disney theme because I love Disney, okay? Okay. I can never just say okay anymore after reading Fault in Our Stars a few times and I'm really excited for the movie. But anyway, I decided to just go ahead and draw some of the white Disney characters, like the actual color white, you know. So we have Olaf and we have the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. We have 
What's his name? Scuttles, right? From Little Mermaid. And then we have Mrs. Potts and Chip from Beauty and the Beast. So wonderful. This is also another page that I have shown in a previous video, and it is the page of good thoughts, but at the time I had just had like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell without any colors or anything behind it, and I wasn't really happy with the page. It looked a little blah to me, so I went ahead with watercolors and painted the background and made Tinkerbell look like she is glowing, and I definitely like this page a lot more. Like, I think it just looks a lot better this way. Um, and Peter Pan is my favorite fairy tale, Disney, anything ever. I love Peter Pan. This next page said to close your eyes and connect the dots from memory. So I closed my eyes and tried to connect the dots. And I just used a pen. I don't know if you can see the lines. I kind of missed, like, I totally missed this one. Um, but oh well. Um, but then I just took watercolors and painted flowers because I didn't want to leave it plain white. Plain white is boring in a reckless journal in my opinion. I like to make it artistic so I painted it. The next page I did says this page is a sign. What do you want it to say? So I kind of just put a whole bunch of Fault in Our Stars quotes because like I've already mentioned, I am super excited about the movie and it is my favorite book and it has just been on my mind constantly. So I went ahead and put a bunch of the quotes on it and for some that I could, I drew little pictures. So I will try to show you some a little closer. Don't mind my nasty handwriting. It's really nasty. But, oh well. Wow. Here's this page. So the last page I did was the create a nonstop line starting here. Um, and after I did the line all over the pages, I just took my watercolors and kind of threw color all over it because I didn't want it to be plain. Because, like I said already, I just can't leave page is very plain in here. I don't like now, it. Now I will leave you with some pictures of viewer journals and if you want to send me pictures of your journal so that it can be at the end of my next Reckless Journal video, just direct message it to me on Instagram. My Instagram usernames will be down below or use the hashtag RecWithBetty. But if your Instagram is set to private, I will not be able to see your picture if you use the hashtag. So if it's private, you'll have to direct message it to me. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>